Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. Oh. So, so we had a bit of an argument because I was trying to scale down to 10 colors, but I really can't. So we were trying to put these ones away, but then we need like a turquoise. Uh, yeah, no, like I just, I can't. 12 we, polishes, we 10 12. fingers, does not compute. Okay. Does not compute. I know, but I, I, I can't, I can't. So anyway, so <laughs> we're going to be talking about really good pastel colors. And this was already tough for me to Narrow scale down. down because there is more colors and, you know, I couldn't do them all. So, no, this is amazing. You have to see this one. Yeah, no, no, this is also really, really good. There we go, okay, we hit 10. Uh, Hooray! No, we're doing 12. Okay, here. Oh. Which one? This one? Where did it go? Uh -huh. okay, I, have, I, have them, <laughs> I have them all with base coats. Okay, troublemaker. So, yeah, yeah we're going to do the 12, but these two are going to be the, uh, the batch number two. All right, so let's let's start. Um, this video started. Let us weird. begin. So this one is called um, Tweet Me, and it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful color. It's it's maybe is it a pastel? Would you consider that a pastel? Uh, yeah. It's almost yeah. not a pastel, but it's it's a. You just have to see it. It has this weird kind of El Paso vibe. I don't know how to how better to describe it. It has an amazing formula. It looks good on like pretty much, I would say, a lot of skin tones. So that's by Dazzle Dry, and it's called Tweak Me. All right, the next one, I'm going to be honest with you, I just picked up, so I don't know much about it. It better be good. Uh, it's Essie called Romper Room, and I love how they have the stickers on top. Romper Room? Yes, so it's almost like that kind of a beigey, but really like a peachy almost. How would you call this color? Uh, skin tone? No, it's not a skin tone. It's a kind of like very light, light peachy color. I say very, very. It looks almost pale white, white skin tone. Like very a va va vampire skin tone. Yeah, well, they exist. Uh, a pale okay. skin tones, not vampires. Okay, romper room. Now, um, Vinylux, Vinylux, Get Naughty. So this is from the Summer Collection. It's a beautiful, beautiful purple with amazing formula. I feel these are kind of your spring, summer collection style, yeah. you know, colors. Like, are we just trying to get ahead of the game or something? Oh, or yeah. what's, yeah, what's happening I'm, here? I'm done, oops. I'm done with the winter. We need some spring colors. I see. Mm -hmm. The weather is nice here so far. So it does kind of feel like spring. We saw some tables outside of a bakery the other day. And this is January in Canada, so this is impressive. That is correct. Yes. So now, um, I know we have three purples, but they're all very, very good. So we have to show them all. This is Faith um, by Dazzle Dry. Could have dropped two colors and had the ten, the two purples. Yeah, no. Uh, beautiful, beautiful purple. And the formula on this one is absolutely outstanding. Agreed. I have to say, like the Dazzle Dry. Um, Pastels are excellent. The green one is also fantastic. So, this is Faith. I mean, all their like their entire lineup is really good. Yeah, some colors are you know more difficult than others, but the, as pastels, incredible. Yeah. This one is Perfect Posture. It's from Essie, and it's actually a new one as well. So let's um, let's see. This one doesn't need a base coat. Yeah, and if you would like to see um, more colors more pastels please you know let us know like down and, in the doobly doo yeah like and subscribe and everything else mm -hmm. yeah these nails are not the easiest to paint but 
Is there a bit of a challenge? Challenge level 10. Mm -hmm. So this is almost like a bluish purple. Mm -hmm. I'm going to clean them By up the way, later. I'm going to kind of try and get my cup in there. Yeah, I love C and D, shall I? Wow. Yes. Ah, 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 ah. That's nice. <laughs> Slurp. Yeah. Okay, I just, I couldn't help myself. I'm gonna clean this off. All right, so then the other hand, the next hand. Okay, the, the green one, it's amazing, LOL. Amazing. So the next one is, you know, actually, uh, it's called perfect posture. And we have perfect posture already. So this is new, I just got it. And the name kind of rang a bell. So it's this purple, and this one is blue. So this is old. I said we crack it open and see what happens. Yeah. So this one Let's is- throw it out. So it's faded, and you know what, it makes sense. But this has been blue for a while. So what happens is sometimes the pink pigments fade and purple minus pink is blue, no? Yeah, so yeah, we can't we can't swatch this one. So instead of this one, we're gonna show you this one. Like this is gorgeous. It's Alrighty. called Down by the Bay. Where the watermelons grow? Really? Okay. Then never mind. No, never mind. Those who know will know. This both shellac and the vinylux have amazing formula and beautiful, beautiful color. So as I mentioned. I have a lot of really good light colors, so I, I hope we can do another video with those if you guys are liking it. Okay, this one is called Lighten the Mood, and this is also a new color, and I used, like I used it, I kind of swatched it on my nail, and I could not stop looking at it. It's how nice it is. It's... Um, Kind of, your nail is cursed. <laughs> that one ridge is like mutating, it's getting worse. <laughs> so it's kind of, what is it, like taupey but very light. It's a gorgeous color. I don't I, like I'm it. very bad at explaining the colors. Okay, now, uh, Alluring Charm by Dazzle Dry. This is an interesting color. It's very chalky, it's very light, it's very, very bright. It's very dusty. No, it's not dusty at all. Dusty. So, you can use it in a very thin coat. It's very, very bright. But, as much as I love Dazzle Dry, and I mean, um, I use it quite, I would say, exclusively in the salon when I get to work, because right now we're under lockdown. Not fun. Um, anyway, so this color, the problem is with this color is that it fades almost to a white color. So once you have it for a while, you'll have a white. <laughs> so don't buy white, pretty much. Hmm. Yeah, it looks completely white. So yeah, keep, keep it away from the, um, light. the lights, yeah. Or else you end up with white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did we do a base coat here? Okay. All right, so let's do this one then, Vinyl Lux, Exquisite on this hand. They squeeze me. Yeah, they, um, so this is more like an egg yolk kind of, right, color. Yellows are notoriously bad yeah, when it comes to... Yeah, it's kind of an egg yolky color-ish. Yeah. Ish. And the other one, the Dazzle Dry is more of like a lemon, lemony. Actually, it's called... Lemony Freshness. Frozen Lemonade. Amazing. 
So yeah, so sorry, this one is the Vinolex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very nice. All right, so let's do yeah, the second coat. Yellow snow. <laughs> All right, so let's go with the Tweet Me again. But you see the, the formulas of the pastel? Yep. This is more bluish kind of uh, color. Yeah, it's quite amazing. Yeah, this one is a must have for spring. Absolutely amazing. Now let's see the romper room. Can you see the romper straight? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That, that name just seems so odd. Romper room. Yeah. Either I'm thinking of people in those rompers or I'm thinking of a like a McDonald's playroom where kids jump around. Oh, yeah. Or the movie Romper Stopper. Well, I don't know. Anyway, this one is almost like a white kind of color. But it's really, really good. Essie has some really good colors. We picked mm -hmm. up a few, few of them and... Ow! Amazing. Technical difficulties. Yeah. Uh, what is it? This is the Get Naughty by Vinylux. Dazzle Drawing, Faith. You know what else looks really good? I have to show you just in the meantime. Okay, if, if you're yeah, if you're into Dazzle Dry, you have to get this color, which is called Purity, because this applied over any color makes it shimmery. So I'm not gonna do this here. There you go. But just uh -oh. showing you. So one thin coat, even over black, over white, this is like amazing. So basically, you can get all cream colors, and then adding this is going to make it shimmery it's a like amazing application so purity i know off topic we're talking about pastels yep but if you wanted to make the, the pastels with uh you know a little bit of shimmer you want to make them pop have a little bit of shine mm, yeah a little bit shimmer. of shimmer and get purity okay the uh, perf perfect posture it is kind of a bluish purple, eh? It, it is, yes. Yeah, I can't believe how it faded. I'm gonna see if I can do th three thin coats. On these nails. Okay, it's almost good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is LOL. Down by the bay. That song's stuck in my head now. Oh, <laughs> oh man. It's a, like a child children's song kind of thing and yeah it's just stuck in my head uh there was a reason sorry kind of changing the subject. topic is again mm -hmm. but i didn't include with the first video opi colors because i find that the opi brushes are not very easy to work with when it comes to like those very pastel colors so as you can notice, all these ones have the round brushes, which makes it much, much easier when it comes to the pastels. Lighten the mood. Yeah, this is going to give us a hard time. <laughs> Now, Alluring Charm, 
Again, absolutely amazing. It's a must have, especially for the summer. It's coming up, <laughs> hopefully soon. It's amazing for pedicures. Very, very good. And exquisite. Excuse me. The vinyl wax. And if you guys uh, are enjoying these videos, if you find them helpful, please hit a like. And subscribe. And subscribe because this is really helping the channel. Mm. And if you would like to help us financially, you can actually um, watch the ads because if you skip the ads, then we don't get paid. Mm. So if you don't skip the ads, we get paid mm. a little bit. Trust me, it's not that much, but it, every penny kind of helps right now, especially because we're under lockdown and the salon is closed, very sadly. And let's not forget about our fundraiser. Oh yes, so yeah, it's still happening because uh, we raised about almost $400 now out of the thousand that we're planning on raising. Um, so I'm going to clean up the nails as we're talking about it. So I'm gonna hold on, show you a piece of cotton here and add pure acetone and that's how I'm gonna clean it uh, and talk about the uh, fundraiser. So um, we're trying to raise funds for um, Galagos, which are Spanish Greyhounds that are in need of help because they are used in Spain as hunting dogs, very sadly, and they just don't, they're not treated very well. So a lot of them go up for adoption. And there was a place in near Malaga, Spain, that I visited last year. Well, actually, now it's two years ago, September of 2019. Uh, and so it's a sanctuary, a sanctuary run by um, Charlotte Del Rio, and she rehab rehabilitates galgos, and they have these little cute homes, and it's right. Like, how would you describe it's, it? It's their property consists of multiple little, almost like tiny homes. Like yeah. to, to look at them, um, and each one has. A Three, two, three dogs in, in them. Yeah. And, and each one of them, each bay as they're termed, um, are for specific purposes. Yeah. But it's absolutely yeah. amazing the work that they do there and uh, they rely heavily on... Well, only on donations because they're not yeah. supported by the government or, or anything. And yeah, so I mean, I went there, I know this place, I, I know them, the whole family is involved. They actually built a little um, a clinic on with the, the funds on the premises, yeah. and um, like a vet clinic. There was a vet that goes there sometimes, and their daughter actually is now a vet assistant or something. So she went to school. Oh, wow. Yeah, Sophia. I and, didn't realize that Sophia. Is, yeah, uh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So she's, you know, that helps. Yeah. So anyway, so amazing, amazing cause. Um, every penny goes towards the dogs. They live a very, very humble life. Like they're not, you know, driving fancy cars or anything. So the money is definitely going towards the dogs. And they're amazing people. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to raise a thousand dollars. And once we um, raise the thousand dollars, we're going to do a hot pink manicure. And on Mr. Solon Life here and he's going to wear it for a week. Yes. Um, and I'm gonna take pictures. And he's going to take pictures like all over town pretty much to kind of prove that he's not just, we're not doing this manicure and just, you know, um, removing it right away. He's going to Hot kind pink. of show it off around town and yep. talk about our cause. So if you guys could, you know, help us to raise that thousand dollars, we would mm -hmm. super appreciate it. And there was a link below to uh, to to raise the money. Mm -hmm. And what we'll do too is we'll grab our three hottest of hot pinks, and we'll get you guys to vote on which ones exactly. you want me to wear. Yeah. Yeah. So there's already some uh, comments on which oh kind of colors. I um, personally want like the does. most neon hot '80s pink you can possibly find. Yeah. So actually, yeah, in the comment section. Uh, also, you can start suggesting the pink colors, right? Mm -hmm. That we would like to uh, for him to wear. Yes. I mean, we're talking um, 
big brands because it's I don't want to be spending money and getting it shipped from like you know um, in areas that Not are too. yeah I mean anyway so big brands please hold on which one was that no this is the Tesla try <laughs> oops <laughs> um yeah so that would be awesome if you guys could do that mm -hmm. so dazzle dry as you can see uh, uh cures it dries a lot of them dry with the with the um, matte finish that's normal and that's how you can also see that the polish is dry and dazzle dry honestly like this is dry to touch completely it dries in five minutes it's absolutely incredible that love, is the one thing i love about dazzle dry yeah. is the speed that it i love dries. using it that's the only polish that i use for pedicures to be honest with you guys mm -hmm. because it also does not um leave the nails with uh yellowing it does not yellow the nails and it also um does not cause the white spots sometimes some people can if their nails are very porous it still can happen but much less than um than other brands for sure uh this is which one is this is se okay whatever i don't like se top coat we're gonna use the final looks normally i try to use the proper oh, one you're mixing lines yeah that's illegal Violence. now my fingers are gonna fall off thank you Okay, we have to do a little break with this video because the battery is running out. So hopefully we'll get to uh, do this without battery running out. Uh-oh. I know. Did it? <laughs> no, it's still recording. It's just okay, the we're guys, screen we, we don't have it. Yeah, no. Uh-oh. Okay, be right back here. Okay, so we have top coat here. Do we need a to top coat here? Top Nay. Coat, total top coat. Okay. All right, so with SE, we're going to use SE top coat. This is kind of a more of a, it's funny, it's, it's a bluish uh, purple. In a bottle, it looks more blue. You know what? This is happening again. Oh my God. You guys are the uh, witnesses of this. What? Sometimes the top coat, maybe I have to mix it better. Sometimes it kind of shrinks. Like oh, it, I was kind of watching it pull right? away from, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Weird. Yeah, it's doing it again. Cool. weird i think it's kind of neat when you see things like that happen yeah on i mean a, not on a, on a video so we'll see how it looks in a second so we're gonna just use the vinyl lux over the se i am not a fan of the se top coat the good to go that i have is because um it shrinks like it kind of it's very stringy mm, what it's very stringy no it's not it actually when it dries it like pulls away I just meant that I, there was strings, oh, like stringy, so like one. it was, you know. Alright, so this one has a top coat already. Alright, so um, this is it. But not is for it? the video, not for the video, but for these... Uh, for these colors, and we're gonna do the other two, 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 these ones. This one is very good. So we need to sacrifice two nails. But first we need to take a picture, no? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, so here we go. Two fingers demand, There, de there's a demand. <laughs> Take two. Uh huh. There's a demand for sacrifice. Which two shall be sacrificed? I love these two. And I was going to, to remove them. Well, let's see how this top coat looks. 
Okay. By the so way, uh, down in the comment section. We'll yeah, which ones? Let us know which, which ones. You okay, want. I'm gonna remove these two. What do you think? But this is such a nice blue. This is such a nice green. I think it green. looks. I know. Oh my god, we're gonna sit here. These two these shall two. be sacrificed. All right. I saved the purple ones. Yay. You saved the purple ones? Yes. <laughs> By the way, these are my three favorite. Oh. Yes. I like this one. Such a good color. Of course, I love my seafoam green, and I don't have to explain why. Any of the OGs will know why. And I actually like this one, and that's just because it has that old school blonde-ish mm -hmm. telecaster kind of look. I'm just trying to remove this polish without damaging my nails. Do not damage the nails. All right, so, um, all right, so this one needs a Dalzo Dry Base Coat. So we'll do this. And we can start with this one. It's called Barracuda. Barracuda? Barracuda. Like the song Barracuda yeah. by heart. And it's very, very similar to the Chanel Riva. Although the Chanel has this blue kind of, um, what would you call it? Like a blue shimmer running through it. This one doesn't. But the you don't really see it on the nail. You see it in the bottle, but you don't see it on the nail. The problem with this color is that it's kind of sheer. You need three coats to build it up, Ew. which is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Yeah. All right, so we'll do this to see. Okay, I need some oil on my fingers. Can't stand the dry nails. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that's all about. So on manicure, Barracuda. Say that in a good way. Yeah, this two coats should cover. I mean, it's not. Um, it's, it seemed watery and it's, yeah. it's thin. It's yeah. Thin. So I mean, it's now the, the very important trick with with the dazzle dry base coat. I almost said messy. It's huh? Nothing. Um, okay, so you can see that it's dry here because it's matte, but it's not dry here and it's not dry here. So if you attempt to put a polish over a base coat that it's not fully dry, it's going to, the polish is going to stick to it and becomes very, very stringy, and that can damage the nail polish permanently. So- And um, there's a chance there could be some strange chemical reaction that will cause an explosion. My finger will blow up yeah, and there will be pandemonium. So yeah, let's not go down that road. Yeah, so normally when you are working with 10 fingers, obviously, this would be dry before you um, go back to the first nail. Correct. Sometimes on the second coat, so if people have very weaker nails, damaged nails, whatever, if you want to add a little bit um, wearness, wearness, that's a new word that I just came up with, um, you can use two coats of base coat with as a dry. But for him, I would use just one. So we're gonna let it dry. And sometimes when you are wrapping the free edge a little bit, there is more base coat there. So, and sometimes it drips kind of as well. So this is still, sometimes you can feel it with your finger. This is pretty dry almost. So I'm gonna give it just a minute. Okay. And Dazzle Dry has three different yellows. And two of them are good. The third one is, is good, but these two are amazing. And I'll show you which ones in a second. So this is not a one coater, but man, for yellow, this is amazing. Yep. Very good application, very good color. Seeing these two just reminds me of Easter. Yeah. You think Easter is going to be canceled? Okay, yeah, let's, let's not talk about bad news. Let's just pretend, you know, it's not going to. Okay, I'm going to show you the other yellow. My 
Dazzle Dry. Okay, so this one is also very, very good. It's called Sahara. That one looks more egg yolk. Yeah, this one looks really like egg yeah, yolk. Yeah. That's egg yolk. And this is Ambici. This one has good, they all have good Ambici. application. But this, this one has best and this one has best as well. This one is, it's okay. It's good actually, but these two are amazing for yellows. So these would be my favorite yellows. Actually, Dazzle, um, Essie has a yellow like that, remember? No. They wanted to buy it, but I kind of stopped myself. That seems like every time you go to get polishes, I, so. I was, I buy something. <laughs> no, yeah. it's, Should I get grab it? 25 and then narrow down from there. <laughs> narrow down to like 15. <laughs> yeah, 12 to 15. Yeah, and then I'm like, I can't believe I'm spending so much money on nail polish. I'm sure there's help groups for that. Yeah. Okay, so on your nails, obviously your nails are going to be difficult. So it doesn't look like yes. it's too cold, but <laughs> it's usually too cold with this one. But yeah, like compared to the Danzo Dry, uh, this does not apply as good as Danzo Dry. Correct. So now the Dazzle Dry is almost dry. <laughs> Dazzle Dry is almost dry. Um, you can see that it has gone matte. We can put a second coat. And because this polish dries so quickly, you can easily put three coats without taking forever to dry. That's why I suggested the which one the purity over these colors because it's you would apply this very very thin and um, it takes no time to dry. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So this doesn't need a base coat. So you could add a third coat. We're gonna see how it looks with the, with the three coats on your troublesome nails. <laughs> Just like crying here. <laughs> what are you doing with that one? Can you stay away from me with that. Oh. Get away. Okay, I'm gonna show you the color again. Again? See? So it's very, very, it's not as white. Looks very good over black, looks very good over white. Barely visible, but it kind of gives it a little bit of depth. It looks good of, of, over any cream color. All right, so let's do the top coat over the Dazzle Dry. Dazzle Dry is pretty much dry, but let's do the third one on <laughs> this one. <laughs> Dazzle Dry doesn't have a turquoise like this. I can't believe that we needed three coats. No. Your nails needed three coats. Wow. Dazzle Dry has an amazing, that's what I'm saying, like I want to do a second video of these ones if you guys are interested. So this is not as pastel, but this is such an amazing color. Like the formula is incredible. This is Casablanca. It's really, really good. Like what kind? What would you call it? It's like a turquoisey color, but it's darker, right? Yeah. It looks amazing for the summer. Yeah. It's very, very good. Okay, so you know, um, I'm going to do the top coat on this one. So this is dry already. The nails are dry. We're not gonna bother with the top coat over the there. The dry is dry. Yeah. There's a hair in my polish. Oh God. Okay, so let's not talk about the hair in a nail polish and let's just end this video. Can I have your other hand? So, you know, and okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, you know what? The yellows are kind of similar. 
No, this one is right. different. Yeah, let, yeah. Let, let us compare. No, they're not. No, they're not. This is much warmer. The creamier, it's, this is yeah, much warmer. Yeah, this kind of got like a more orangey. Yeah, tinge yeah. To it, right? This is more yellow. Okay, more lemony. Lemony Perfect. freshness. Alrighty, so let us know what you think about these colors. Let us also know what, um, if you, you like would to like to see this? a second video of these really good, bright, brighter, lighter pastel colors. Because there's more. Already, and uh, we're gonna say thank you much. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> thank you much. <laughs> thank you much. <laughs> All right, guys, we will thank you see much. you in the next video. <laughs> Take care, and bye thanks bye. for watching. <laughs> Ciao.